All week long, we have highlighted the paranormal kind of hot spots of Idaho. So tonight, we want to catch up with the Scientific Paranormal Investigation Research Organization. Also known as SPIRO for short, for a haunted historic tour of Old Town Pocatello. Photojournalist Doug Locksmith has the story. Three, two, one. Pocatello is very unique for hauntings. Everything that you get is real. For the paranormal junkie, this is a great thing. Sometimes we're in the dark together, sometimes we're in crowded places together. Anything that happens out of the paranormal is just a, an additional bonus that's great, but you really are going to learn things about your town that you didn't know before. When you walk around Old Town or even in the warehouse district, you see all these parking lots that are there now, and everywhere there's a parking lot, a building used to stand. And so all of that history is gone. And if we don't document those things, if we aren't taking pictures, and if we aren't sharing that with the public, just like the monarch, you never know when something's going to happen and the building isn't there or isn't in the same condition it used to be. Pocatello came from the railroad. This was a rough, dangerous, violent town. And I think because of that, uh, it's, it's just different than every other town around it. But if you look in the bucket, there is also still coal in the bucket. And the old boilers and the coal rooms and the coal chutes and just all of these things that we don't experience anymore. And then to be able to share that with my kids or someone else's kids. Getting back to the ghost stuff here. We started the Haunted History Tour six years ago as a fundraiser for Old Town Pocatello. <laughs> The tour consists of going inside of buildings, not just walking outside and talking about stories. We go into the buildings and you get to see, touch, feel, and hear the stories of hauntings. And a lot of times on our tours, paranormal activity occurs. Down here in the basement, people have the feeling of being watched. You really do start to rely on your group to, hey, what was that noise? And, uh, you know, don't leave me behind. We've had years where people have been touched, where they hear voices. Uh, we've had years where people, entire groups of people, have seen things and jumped all at once. A lot of them are kind of shocked, you know. Some of them are like, no, that can't be happening. And then we show them what we've got, and they're like, oh my goodness, are you serious? And every year, without fail, we have somebody come up to us and be look at this picture I got, or, or listen to this, this sound that I got. And we're like, see, you know. So it's, it's really neat to see them come in, and their face is kind of like, yeah, okay. And then okay, that's happening, you know, and then they actually get something. You're like, oh, I got something, you guys, look. It's really a great thing to be able to say, hey, I went into the basement of that building, and this is what I saw, and this is what I learned, and this is what I um, got to experience when I was in there. And so it's a kind of a cool thing to be able to go in and experience some of these buildings that most tourists don't get to do. My brother would love that because he'd just stand behind people and touch them on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, the thought did cross my mind. Yeah, that'd yeah. be kind of fun. That's, that's <laughs> a lot of fun for the season. Well,